Alright, working on a 406 small block Chevy here, and let me show you some rods I have. That's the first one. That's the same rod that's been ground on, it's been modified. And that's a different brand rod. So that weighs 630 grams. That one is 675. And that one is 710. So this rod here you can see is made way different. It's awful square looking and it's heavy. This one here is the same rod, same brand rod, that's been modified to lose some weight. And it's for clearance purposes. It's more like this rod, as you can see is nice and rounded off. But there was some clearance issues with the rod bolts. You can see the length of the head. It's longer on that one than that one. And it's not square and clunky. Less what <clears throat> the less rotating weight the better. So we ground that down. You see in the first rod on the left looks way bigger and heavier than the rod on the right. But they are the same rods. They're matching rods out of a set of eight. And we modified the one on the right because the one on the left is way too big and heavy on the bottom part. How square that is. There's way too much material on it. And on the right is more like it should be or how we wanted it to be. It started out at 710 grams and that one is now 675 grams. And that's quite a bit of difference, especially when you count. It's 25 grams difference, I believe, if I'm doing my math right. That's a lot of weight. You times that by eight rods. You can see the difference. It's been ground on and polished. And it helps with clearance in the block. And there should be no problem with that. I've never seen rods that were that big and square on the bottom. I've had these rods for quite a while. I guess I never paid any attention to what they look like, but you do not want rods like that. You want them to look like that. And they should work out real good. I'll have to have the motor balance. I've seen shop will final probably within one or two grams or whatever they do. But my scale goes in 5 gram increments, so, and that's why I'm paying the machine shop to balance my motor. And there's what's left of the rods. All the metal on the floor is from one rod. Guess if I ground too much off, we can glue some back on. We're clearancing the bottom of the cylinders for the rods. You can see. That's what it looked like to begin with. Right there is where it's being clearance for the rods. This is one that's done. And that's another one that's been done. But the rods are too close, you need at least 50 thousandths clearance on that. Good way to do that is with a zip tie. Just measure it with some dial calipers. A zip tie, a thicker zip tie measures about 50 thousandths. You also check the cam clearance. One, two, and five and six rods come close to the lobes on the cam. 
All of them cleared good, but six. And we did some clearancing on the rods. Right there is the side that did not need clearancing. Because that's the side that does not get close to the lobe. But that's the side that was clearanced. You can see the difference in the thickness around the bolt head. But other than that, once this is clearanced, it should be done clearancing. And everything can go to the machine shop. I just got back from cleaning the block off. Next steps put the cam bearings in, all the frost plugs, and then put it back on the engine stand. Looks like it cleaned up pretty good. So. Got the 4344 Ford steel crank. The H beam rods, the ones that have been ground on. A TRW Ford flat top pistons. Should be about 15 to 1 compressor. Got a harmonic balancer with the weight and the flex plate with the weight this is better thicker steel flex plate made in usa got one set of rings for one piston with the rod bearings and four locks that's everything they need to balance the motor so when this thing's spinning about 15,000 rpm it won't puke its guts out all over the place Well, I got my rotating assembly back from the machine shop. Is the crankshaft. I had to add some metal to it and drill some. And on the back, I had to weld on it. And I don't know if they drilled or not, but maybe just a little bit. But, all you need to do now is do some cleaning and assembling. Alright, we got the block on the engine stand. You can see you got the crankshaft in it. Got the frost plugs in it. Cam bearings are in. Mains are all torqued down. Crank turns over nice in the block. And now, getting ready to put the pistons and the rods in. Haven't got them cleaned up yet, but should have that done here today. And I'll show you some more.